Hei Eesti maa, Eesti diskgolfi sõbrad! Mina jälle siin! Olen teile toomas pilti natuke teises kohast, nagu me näeme. See on klubimaja ja see on siis Samui. Ja hakkangi näitama, mis sugune see Samui rada on. Aga see video saab olema inges keeles selle pärast, et ma ei mängi mitte üksi. Ja minu kanalis läheb ainult esimest viite, kelle kanalis tagumis kuute näeb. Seda saame vastida. So guys, like I told you, this is going to be an introduction of the new Samui layout. It has changed a little bit from the past years. And like I said, I'm going to have somebody play with me. Okay, and I'm, I'm not going to make any big words. It's kind of pointless, everybody knows who he is. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm excited to... Actually, I have no idea what we're going to do. So how about that? I'll, I'm, I'll be as surprised as you. Yeah, like that's the best way. Okay. And we're just going to go on hole one and just Sounds get good. it started. Let's do it. I'll grab my discs. Let's go. All right. So hole one is 165 meters long and I'm going to jump putt it. Uh, the basket looks closer, but the camera, you know how the camera puts on like 20 kilos? Well, it actually makes the hole look a lot shorter than it is, but it's, and, it's 204 meters. <laughs> hmm. Not great. Like that's, uh, that circles the edge on a, 367 meter hole. With the jump out? Yes. All right, way better. That was a, a 70 meter putt. All right. What, 82 meters? This is super easy. Okay. Like that. <laughs> Piece of cake. I go with a backhand and try to sneak through from the back door. See, I just aim for this tree right there. In the middle? Yeah. No, I kind of aim a little bit to the right of it. But... It's just, it's a natural flight. And the thing about a thumber is that when it gets towards the target, it has backspin on it. So it tends to not, like, I, like, did you just make that Philo? Around the termite mound? Dang. That was sick. Around the termite mound. That's amazing. Okay, so I have to make this one now. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Simple. Yeah, piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Shall we go? Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right. Okay, I brought a driver for this one hole. There you go. Find it. Ooh. Now skipping all. Ooh, might be long. So you have any, any tricks for people who are like me, having issues with uh, tournament nerves? With, with tournament what? Nerves. Tournament nerves. Yeah, that's a whole, <clears throat> that's a whole video though, but <clears throat> <clears throat> the biggest thing you can do as far as nerves is to understand that you don't control the outcome of your throw. Okay, it's an illusion. If you could control the outcome of your throw, that would mean every time you threw a bad shot, it must have been on purpose. Clearly it's not. So 
you don't control the outcome of a throw. All you have are the probabilities that you're going to make the throw. You can control probabilities by how much you practice, having good mechanics, choosing the right disc, being physically healthy. Those can all control the, your chances of making the shot, but every individual shot you have no control over. And the minute you realize you don't control the shot, you only have the mechanics. You can just step up and go through the motions and the outcome will be whatever it's going to be, there's no longer anything to be nervous about. If you thought that you, if I thought that I had control over my outcome, I'd be terrified. Oh, I better make this putt. I can't make that putt. I can only do proper mechanics and it's going to go in or it doesn't. Good one. Like that. Woo wee. So we have four holes finished and we have four birdies. Is Looks that, simple. Do I have four birdies? Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. No, I missed hole two. Yeah. That was a difficult birdie to get. Yeah. Philo got it. That's, that's the shot where Philo... Yeah, that was a good Philo pu putting around the... Philo putting around the, 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 the termite mound. Everything about that is epic. I'm going to throw a driver, but I'm going to throw it upside down again. I think. So, well, 93 meters straight? It, yeah, it's, it's actually... And OB everywhere. It's a tr this is a tricky line. This is a good hole. This is a really good hole. And the OB makes the hole good because you can't just throw at it. You actually have to think when you throw, which is always makes for a better hole. Look at that trick. Yeah. I like throwing thumbers. Like, I can usually put them right where I'm aiming. It's, it's also it's a really natural window for it. Here, you see the harp? Okay. Is it? What's the best way to get to it? That way? Over there. When we cross? Yeah. Can you? Can. No way. I'll. I won't. I won't stop. I have yet. to film this. Thank you. Oh wow! Perfect. Look at how how handy is that. Thank you. He's either getting it or burying it. Nice. <laughs> well, I appreciate the niceness. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you could have rinsed it off a little better. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I can't believe I missed that. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, just a par. This finishes up the first five holes. We have hole number two, four and five, the most difficult holes on this course. And we're going to go to the easiest part. Okay. So, so, well, thank so you Scott so much. Scott is like right now, I think minus four, four down. I think so, yeah. So we're going to go back six on his own channel. And that's gonna be on my channel, Scott Stokely's YouTube channel. There'll be a link down below, I assume. And if any Estonian's not following yet, I don't know why. There has to be something wrong with you. <laughs> so <laughs> go and follow that right now, subscribe, because otherwise you're going to miss it.